A letter to you. I never wanted to be like my mother's and Sandy. Never wanted to get lost in the sadness. I never wanted to be like my father's fury. I don't want to hide from mirrors, from the guilt all over my face. Have you ever been in an abusive relationship? Yes, I've been. You never fought back, and I never forgave myself. Then it all crawled between us, the guilt and regret, and destroyed us. You even loved me, spoken on November night. The leaves were silver, your hair halo bright. The bruises were fading, and our hearts were breaking. I broke your rib, last one on the right, next to that beautiful birthmark of yours. I broke your arm, and the blood felt like liquid fire as I carried you into the hospital wing. You smiled at me, whispered everything would be all right. Then you told the crone like nurse you just had a bad fall, and the lie hung between all three of us. Don't we always, dear? She sighed. And then we pretended the bruises, blue fingerprints, were invisible. And then she just watched, and then you gripped my hand. And then I promised myself this would be the last time that I'd never do this again. I broke your index finger last week. That day, Halloween became yet another hospital trip. I could protect you from anyone except myself. I started to write this letter on the back of a napkin in a diner that, at first glance, I knew you'd hate. But I went in anyways. Just because they had plastic vases of your favorite flower, baby's breath, so delicate, just like you. For me, love always just seemed like a fairy tale curse, and another way it makes one burn and hurt. For you, love was always a many splendid thing, a hallmark channel superstar queen. But they never show girls who beat girls who love girls. By four o'clock that morning, not a trace of me was left. While you were dreaming, I put the keys on the counter, breathed a kiss upon your neck. Half a year later, Boston Commons blooming, the grapevine still chats about how you ask around about me. Sometimes that makes me smile. Most times it doesn't. And now I'm answering the increasingly intrusive questions of a woman who looks old enough to be my grandmother. How long did this relationship last? Seven years. The words don't feel enough now. Always expected them to lift from my mouth and fill somehow everything. I never liked shrinks who just give you meds that mess their head. But I still return just because I found I want to trust myself again. And playing show and tell, let the therapist play hide and seek with my heart constantly. Doesn't seem too much to pay for a little bit of sanity. Found this napkin in my jeans pocket, the one I only bought because I knew it was the one you liked. And so I started writing more of something you'll never read. Still dream at night of my hands in your hair, your hands on my hips. At the waking dawn, I can almost smell your scent on my fingertips. So I stay away by day, stalk the ghost of you in my memories by night, continue to fight the furious madness that consumes me, delete your messages that grow fewer week by week, because you showed me the passions, just the lower level demon of madness and jealousy that shares path to mindless fury. I don't want to be like my monsters. Don't want to look in the mirror and find the only monster there is me.